And right now we're back in the kitchen with Casey, Casey Schwartz from All Things Mama. Today we are All Things Pumpkin. That's right. Yeah, so yes. thanks for sticking around and we got our pumpkins Thank all you. prepped. They're ready to go. They are ready to go. So what we're doing today, these are just small little pie pumpkins. Okay. Because um, I thought they'd be easier for us to manage, but you can obviously use your big pumpkins. So once they're all cleaned yeah, up. Yeah, my big dirty pumpkins yeah. back there, by the way. <laughs> she, she just pushed it aside. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I have several different options. Okay. Um, that anyone can do. You can do it with your kids. You can do it at home. You might want to do it outside and not in your kitchen. And not wearing a dress. And not all dressed up okay. for the day. But we should have just had on flannels and t-shirts today. I love that idea. Fall. I love that idea. <laughs> okay, so we have several things. This is chalk paint. I don't know if you've heard of chalk paint. It's not chalkboard paint, oh. but it's actually chalk paint. And what it is, it's just like a thicker consistency, mm -hmm. and you can actually use it on anything. You can paint glass, wood, metal, pumpkins, it's amazing. I love this stuff. Now, if kids get it on them, can we, is it washable? It washes right off. Yes, okay. it does. It comes right off your skin better than other. But because it is chalk paint, if you get it on your counter, wipe it up right away because it would stay. Oh, But okay. you can wipe it off. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you can. So it's a little bit thicker. Um, there's several different brands. I got this one um, actually at Joanne Fabric. But one of my favorites is Annie Sloan's paint. Okay. Um, and in town, I think you can get it at Recycled Cottage. Otherwise, you can find it on the internet. Okay. Okay. So we'll do that in a second, but I'm just going to run through real quick. This is, we're going to spray these with this, um, it's like a spray glue, an oh. adhesive. Oh, okay. So we're going to spray the pumpkin down, and then we're going to glitter it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And then there's a couple different options. We have a paint pen here. We also have stickers. So there's different things you can do if you don't want to carve. All right, let's spray. All right. Spray so, and you, let's try this, this chalk paint. So if you want, you can grab this and um, whichever. Let's do this one right here. We can do it together because it's okay. really easy. Yep, grab some paint. All right. And this is just a foam brush. And then you paint it on. Yeah. Just like this. These look like the supplies that you get from your local hardware store. Yeah. I see, I see a... Well, yeah. Unless this is a pastry brush. That's for glitter. Oh, it's for glitter. It's okay. a glitter brush. Do okay. you have one of those at home? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> but I should. Every girl needs a glitter brush. That's right. So I would imagine that decorating pumpkins at home is, is safer with the kids than, like, like we were talking earlier. Than about handing them a saw. Handing them a little tiny saw right. or a mm -hmm. knife yes. or whatever. Well, so. this one, we'll just keep painting and then, you know, we'll cover it all. And so if you like the distressed look, then you can just leave it that way. You can even sand this a little and rough it up oh. um, just to make it look a little distressed and older. Or you can do another coat and then really just make it solid and beautiful. I love this robin's egg blue color. I do, I do too. It's one of my favorites. Are there any rules when it comes to decorating our pumpkins? You know, what we should do or you shouldn't do? I don't think so. I think it's whatever you want. And that's the thing with crafts and decor in your home. You know, you can read all the rules and what you should do and what you shouldn't do, but it's really about what you like. Yeah. You know? Hey, what, what, about, uh, right here. what about decorating these and, and sticking them outside? I mean, I know Joe yeah. Crane was just talking about there's a freeze warning tonight. I know. I mean, are these going to hold up out there tonight? Yeah, I think so. Outside? We cleaned them and got them all ready and got all of the bacteria and things off of it that would make it age faster. Okay. So I think it would be completely fine. And I think that process will also allow it to last a little longer, like another week or two longer than it normally would. Yeah. And it's, I think the cold weather's okay because then it doesn't, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm all mushy. I don't know what the rules are with pumpkins yeah. being outside, especially with the temperatures getting so I think we're doing great. So How's chilly? this side? Well, let's do the other one here. Let's do this glitter because who doesn't like glitter, right? Yeah. Okay, so we, just, we would just keep painting. So this would dry for, or do we just stick the glitter, glitter on right now? No, we're going to do a whole different pumpkin. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're doing a whole nother one. We're almost out of time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here. <laughs> Here, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, okay. This is that spray adhesive. Okay. And we're gonna try to get it open. Okay, now stand back okay, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna spray it, and while it's wet. Just throw some glitter on there, right? Yeah, okay. so you can use, let's sprinkle it. Here. Sprinkle? Okay. Sprinkle it right over the top. I'm, I'm gonna have glitter on myself yeah, all day. sprinkle. Oh, like, oh. Look how pretty, and do it oh. real nice and thick. Oh. And then you would just move to the other side. We'll just, uh. we'll spray a little more here. I need one of these. I need one of these cases. Go ahead and little, spray that. A little glitter shaker. And let me tell you right here real quick. This is a paint pen. So you can get these at a craft store. You can keep glittering. Okay. And then if you want, you could just draw on your pumpkin. So if you have this white one, and we're just going to make little dots all that, over the pumpkin. That seems easy. Or little squiggly lines. That seems easy. <laughs> Kinda, it is easy, and the kids can do that. Yeah. And then, get it even easier, get you some stickers that are made for pumpkins and put them right on. I love it. I love yeah. it. I wish we had more time. Casey, thanks as always for being here. Thank for you. more of Casey's helpful tips, you can check her out on social media under the handle All Things Mama. We'll